Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Jamie with Originality AI. Originality AI is an online AI and plagiarism detector, boasting a 99% accuracy rating for its AI content detection. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, we're just gonna be taking a look at OpenAI's AI text classifier and just doing a small comparison to Originality AI's AI content detector. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on OpenAI's AI text classifier. And as per previous episodes, we're just gonna be grabbing some base content. So for this episode, we're gonna be creating articles on the best kitchen candles. So we're just gonna grab this top content here. First two should do. It's worth mentioning that the text classifier has to have a minimum of a thousand characters. So a little bit of a restriction there. And we will submit that. Okay, it's given us a very unlikely, so to interpret the results very unlikely is the lowest ai score possible so most likely to be human okay and then for our chat gpt so we're going to be using gpt4 and just giving it the first prompt which is please simply please write me an article about the best kitchen candles and i will skip to when this is finished okay so gpt4 has just finished the article we're just going to copy this over. We'll copy it from introduction down. And head back over. Okay, and once again, uh, very unlikely AI generated. This is obviously massively incorrect, as it's given us the same as genuine human generated content. Okay, so for the next test, we are going to use a slightly more complicated prompt. So we're just going to ask GPT-4 to write us an article about the best kitchen candles once again. But this time we're going to ask it to write like a human. This means to use a medium amount of perplexity and burstiness, as well as using anecdotes. And once again, I will skip to when this is finished. Okay, so once again, ChatGPT-4 has finished writing this article. So I'd be surprised now if OpenAI picks this one up as well. And enter that. Okay, once again, very unlikely AI generated. Okay, so I'm actually going to skip the paraphrasing test for this one, um, just because it's obviously not picked up the initial content so therefore i would assume that it also wouldn't pick up the paraphrase content so that means the third and final test is just going to be using gpt 3.5 so if we head back over to chat gpt grab exactly the same prompt and now we're here in gpt 3.5 paste in the prompt and enter again we we'll skip to the end for this one because it's super fast so a little bit disappointed by open ai's AI text classifier so far, would have kind of expected it would to pick up on at least one of those prompts. So let's try this GPT 3.5. Okay, interesting. And even with the 3.5, it's giving us a very unlikely AI generated. So of these tests, it just seems like the AI text classifier is not to be relied upon. It, um, failed on all of the tests. So now let's take a look at Originality AI. So first of all, let's grab our base case. Okay, so here we are in Originality AI. Uncheck the plagiarism and paste in that human written content. And it's given us a 100% human score, which is obviously correct. And now we will just grab our GPT content. So we'll do it in the same order. Grab the first prompt first, copy this over, new scan, and scanning again. And it's given us a 99% AI and a 1% original. So that is a true positive, it picked up the AI content. Let's try the slightly more complex prompt. So this is the slightly more complex one. And we will grab this again. Heading back into Originality AI and pasting that content. 
And interestingly, it's given us a 100% AI for this one. So this is the more complex prompt. And for the third and final test on originality, we'll just grab the GPT 3.5. Okay, so we'll just grab this content here. And once again, paste it into originality. And it's given us another 100% AI detection score. Okay, so that about wraps it up for the tests. I'm a little surprised that the AI text classified didn't get a single one correct. That is very surprising. And just goes to show that the AI text classifier can't be relied upon to accurately detect AI content. Obviously, as we can see, Originality AI once again showing its dominant AI content detection. I've been Jamie with Originality AI. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.